Yo, what's up? Um, I'm doing a roof inspection in Midtown Mobile. Um, I've just measured up the roof and I've, I've done the complete takeoff. And the last thing that I need to figure out is wind's blowing. I'm about to knock my camera off. I think we're good. Uh, last thing I need to figure out is what the deck type is. It's extremely important when you're replacing a roof system to know what the deck type is, especially on an older home. Um, older homes typically have space sheathing or, or board dimensional lumber where you have spaces or gaps in between each board. When you find that on a, on a roof, it's, um, you, you really need to put something else on top of it to install a new roof system and to have that roof system last a long time, you need a continuous roof deck. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm looking for the deck type here. Um, and the uh, easiest way to do that, the most efficient way is to remove a shingle. You can also go in the attic space, but nobody's home. Um, so I'm gonna carefully remove one shingle. Now this is a roof that's gonna be replaced. It's either gonna be replaced by us or, or somebody else in the next few weeks. Um, so I still wanna carefully remove the shingle to where if, if we do have a rain event um, in the interim period before this roof is replaced, that is still gonna shed water the right way. So I've got a long handle crowbar. This is the kind of crowbar that I like to use. And I've got just a, a cheap hammer from Home Depot and then a utility knife with a hook blade on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully break the seal on these shingles. So they're old, they're old architectural shingles, but they still have a seal on there that you have to carefully break. So we're gonna go after this one. All right. So next we're gonna loosen up the, the nails. We're gonna take the nails out. And we have to remove the, the nails from the shingle that's directly above it. The way that laminated shingles work is you have one shingle, you put your nails on the nail line and then the shingle that's directly above it is actually nailed into that shingle below it at the, the top part of the lower shingle. So to take a shingle out, you have to, I don't mean to turn my back to the camera, my knees are hurting, but uh, to take a shingle out, you have to remove the nails in that shingle and the course directly above it carefully with a crowbar. we go now uh, I'm down to the the felt layer so you, you can't see it but if you if you lift the shingle up you can see the felt right there so I'm gonna take the utility knife with the hook blade and just cut a square big enough where I can see the deck type sometimes you have to cut a little more than that so we've got So a lot of uh, board sheathing is gonna be one by six or one by eight. 
So in theory, um, to make sure that you're not overlooking a one by six or one by eight board deck, you, you actually need to probably cut at least nine to 10 inches. Um, if, if you just cut a, a smaller square, you're just gonna be looking at wood and, and plywood, CDX plywood and board space, sheathing lumber, tongue and groove lumber, it all looks the same if you just cut a square. So I misspoke there. Um, so I'm gonna cut a little more out. So I've got probably 10 inches right here. And we've got All right, so we definitely have board sheathing here, um, which is what I expected. And it's actually one by 12. Um, we don't see that a whole lot. So we've got one by 12 board sheathing, and this is gonna require a deck over to uh, to, to roof it the right way, to roof it with any kind of longevity in mind. Um, this is what it looks like here. You can see, you can see the, the board deck there. And then you can see the, the big space in between the, the boards. And that's what you wanna avoid. You, you do not wanna put a new roof system directly over that. A lot of the nails will, will fall directly into, into the space between the boards. Um, also, if, uh, if you have anything larger than a one by six, you're gonna get cupping at the edges. The, the, the boards are so wide that with time you, you start to get cupping um, where the, the, the edge of the board starts to curl up a little bit. And, and I noticed that in a few spots and I was suspicious of, of a larger uh, board sheathing. And that's what we have, uh, one by 12 on this roof. So our proposition to the homeowner is gonna be a full deck over where we leave the original deck and we install 7 16 OSB over the entire roof deck. That gives the roof a continuous roof deck and we can stand behind it and the shingle manufacturer can also stand behind it. This is Billy Guyette with Guyette Roofing in Mobile, Alabama.